Hey everyone, it's Amy here and welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two of the makeup collection video. I actually don't even know if we're starting on this. I filmed everything at once and I was like, oh dear God, this is going to be like an hour long. So I just didn't want to abruptly start the video with me just like already talking in a drawer. So anyways, this is going to be the second part or maybe there'll be even third part. Like I don't know, but this video is going to be long. So I'm trying to break them up into manageable segments. So anyways, let's jump right back into where we left off. All right guys, I'm so excited. I'm on the third drawer, which means I can finally sit down and look who's snooping. Hey boo boo, what's in here? You wanna see some bronzers? What's this? Yeah, you like Nars? Delilah, say hi, say hi. If you're gonna come snoop, you have to say hi. Yeah? Okay. All right guys, so in this drawer I pretty much have bronzers and then I have some like brow products, um, gel eyeliners, and then mascaras. So let's see if I can pull this out. So one of these is a Sephora, like an airbrush bronzer. I really love that for the summertime. Let's get that guy out of the way. So now this is like a drawer that's nothing but acrylics. I know I mentioned that earlier, but these are all my acrylic things and Delilah's still snooping. Okay. Um, back here I have my classic Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit that I can barely get out right now. And then I have the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. I really, really like that. This I hardly ever use. I really should give it away to my little sister-in-law or something. But this is the Too Faced Bonjour Soleil Limited Edition Summer Bronzing Wardrobe that has quite a few of their bronzers, like the Bunny Bronzer, the um, Chocolate Bronzer, things like that. I have a Makeup Revolution Bronzer Kit as well. I have this... What is this one? The Maybelline Master Contour Palette, and I'm in the shade 10, which is the light to medium shade. I have a MAC powder, which is in the shade medium deep. That is actually a powder, but I use it as a bronzer and contour. and just got a shade much darker. Back here, you guys have seen me do like a dupe or dud and talk about it. This is the Marc Jacobs Insta, Insta, what? Insta Bronze? I forgot the name of this. What is it called? Instamark um, Mirage Filter, and I'm in the shade 40. There is like a darker one. And then I have my two Wet n Wild contouring duos. I have Dolce de Leche, and then I have Caramel Toffee. And then I also have this guy. I have the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. Duh. Oh, this one is like a mouthful to say. The Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel bronzer. I do really, really like this for the summertime. Um, yeah, it's really nice. Totally worth the money, I think, in my opinion. I have the Hula Benefit Bronzer. I have the Do Me Hula, or Do The Hula Bronzer I did a review on. And this guy is a sculpting powder by MAC, and this is in the shade Shadester. And so it's really nice, kind of like mustardy brown color. I do really enjoy that one. And then I have the Makeup Forever um, Pro Sculpting Palette in the shade 20 I've talked about. Similar to that um, LA Girl Pro Concealer. In the salmon shade, I also have a darker shade. Let's see which, this one is Toast, that I can use as a liquid bronzer or contour as well. And then I also have the um, Smashbox shade and light, or what are they called? Something like that. Step-by-step -step contour sticks. They have a bronzer, a contour, and then a highlight. So I have all those. And then over here, I've got the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour. Ooh, I have this. I love this. This is the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light. Let me show you that because one of my subscribers was asking about it. Okay. All right, now I'm trying to do it one-handed and left-handed. Like, gosh. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Super pretty. This is like a very, very natural bronzer for people with fair skin. It's beautiful. So I love that one so much. Another cult favorite that I'm pretty sure everyone and their mother has is NARS Laguna Bronzer. I have the Too Faced um, Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Bronzer. I have this Smashbox one similar to the highlighter. This is the bronzer and for light skin and it's sun-kissed matte. Let me show you out of the light what it kind of looks like. It has a little bit more of a terracotta undertone to it though. And then this is the Makeup Forever Matte Bronze in the shade 20. And then I have, this is probably one of my top favorites as well, this is Ciate London in the shade Star Island. I love this bronzer so much. If you're someone with fair skin or you love a cool tone bronzer, you are going to love this. I love it so much. So natural, beautiful, perfect for bronzing up the face. And then the last one is the new Urban Decay Beach Bronze in the shade Sunkissed. So that was all my bronzing and contouring products. So over here, I have tons and tons of mascaras. I'm going to have to pull that out to show you. So 
but let me do that. But this is the Lit Kit Summer Sparkle Lit Kit, which you guys have seen, I think, in my Christmas makeup tutorial. This is a really great loose um, glitter set that comes with the glue. I really, really love this. You can find it at Sephora. So let me... <sighs> My legs are tired now. Let me show you guys what's in here. These are all the new Tarte clay pots that I talked about last week. These are seriously like my new Holy Grail cream um, eyeliners. I love them. I have the rose gold shade. I have the cobalt, which is my absolute favorite. And then I have the mint. And then let's see what else. I have a MAC fluid line in this shade black track that I use as well that's not quite as black as I would prefer though I actually like this one better which is the let's see what is this one the L'Oreal infallible black is black I love this one you guys see this pretty much in all my videos when I do a winged eyeliner um did that just get tossed in there I think it did <laughs> so I have some brow products and then I have like little sample guys of um mascara but this is my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definer and I'm in the shade taupe I always go if you guys saw my video about this um I always go one shade lighter in her products just because I think they tend to be dark I also have the pomade and I'm in the shade blonde like see what I mean blonde um I have the Benefit Gimme Brow, and then I have the Anastasia Brow Gel in Espresso. So I think that's it. Oh, one more. I have the, what is this? The Maybelline Eye Studio uh, Black is Black Gel Eyeliner as well. I do like that one. This is a brown um, liquid eyeliner that I do not like. I don't know where it's from. I think it's a L'Oreal Infallible product. I don't like that. And then here is my original brow whiz from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm in the shade, what shade did I get in this one? Medium Ash. So I have all three <laughs> in different um, colors, but that's okay. And then as far as like these little mascaras, I like to keep them over here for travel. It's really nice to have like a little sample size. This is the Smashbox Eye Brightening um, Mascara. I really, really like this one. I have the Tarte's lights camera flashes statement mascara i have this what is this guy lancome hypnosis star mascara i don't think i've ever used that a little sample size of the tarte lights camera lashes um two face better than sex and then this is a little clinique lower lash line mascara i really really like it i'm out of it and i'm pretty sure it was ultra cheap like maybe like 10 bucks something like that so that was all the like brow products and eyeliner. So now let's move on to full size mascaras. Um, anyways, as far as mascaras, I've got the Rocket. Who is this from? Maybelline. I think I've got it in black and in brown. This is new. That needs to go in the other little container. This is a sample I got from Tarte. And this is the Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara. So that's going to go over there now. Um, I love this one from the drugstore. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black, one of my favorite holy grails, along with the CoverGirl Supersizer. I believe this one is in black brown, and I usually I usually try to use just the blackest black one, but I do have that one. Um, here is a full size of that Smashbox Eye Brightening Mascara I was telling you about. I really, really love that one. This was like some It Cosmetics Tight Lining um, mascara that I felt like it dried up like right away so I haven't used that in forever I did not like this guy this was that butterfly voluminous butterfly mascara who's this from L'Oreal is that who it's from I think so I think it's rubbed off though yeah L'Oreal okay I didn't really like that one um, this is I have not used this in forever the benefit their real mascara I do like that one this is probably my favorite mascara from Mac and I had gotten this as a sample, um, well not a sample, like you got a full size when you get your makeup done. I got my makeup done for my engagement photos like a year or so ago. And so I got this, which it doesn't have a name on it, it just says mascara on the bottom. But it has MAC all over it. So if you see this in the store, this is probably my favorite one from MAC. Ooh, that's tough now that I say that. This is might be my favorite one. This is the MAC Studio Sculpt Lash. I love this one so much because the wand is exactly similar to, you know, the CoverGirl one over here where it's got brushes and bristles that you can actually, like, comb through your lashes with. So I love that so much. This is another Holy Grail. This is the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill. Love it. Totally worth the money. This was a sample, I think, or a free gift from Ulta. This is a Calvin Klein mascara. Um, it just says CK1 Mascara. This is the new um, Tarte Tartius Mascara. Not sure how I feel about it yet. 
Here's a full size of the um, Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I do like this one. It's a very nice, natural, everyday kind of mascara. Um, this is a primer from Tarte, the Lash Primer. I have not used that in a while, but I think I love it. And then this is probably my holy grail for the lower lash line. This is the MAC Extended Play Lash. If you've been watching YouTube and videos for a long, long time, it used to be the MAC Giga Black Mascara if you've been with Jaclyn Hill forever. But it is the MAC Extended Play Lash Mascara. Perfect, perfect wand for like the lower lash line or for priming your eyes before um, false eyelashes. So let me show you what else is in here because I do have like some full size backups of stuff. I have backups of the L'Oreal Voluminous of the, let's see, I haven't tried this one out yet actually. It's the Miss Manga Rockstar. Um, that one was new maybe back in the fall. I haven't even tried it yet. Here's the CoverGirl Super Sizer backup. I have a backup of the MAC one that I was telling you that I love, the little one, the Studio Sculpt Lash. Love that. And then the Tarte Light Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. I also have a backup of that. And then over here is my um, false eyelashes. This is like an old school... Um, brow thing from Urban Decay as well. I don't ever use that, but I have the Velour, um, let's see which ones these are. I have the Velour, where are you? Um, and another S is what they're called. I actually don't like Velour that much. They're so uncomfortable every time I wear them. I've cut them. These are, these are not empty. These are the, um, these are the Ardell Wispies that people are always like, oh, your lashes look really pretty whenever I do wear false eyelashes. These are the ones that I love. The Wispies in the 105, I believe, or the 101. Um, I love these. These are much more dramatic, and I think the step down from them, if this is 105, the 101s are like the more natural ones that I wear most of the time. Super pretty. And then I had gotten these. Oh my gosh, my arm is falling asleep. These are from Sephora, and it's the Lux False Lash Line. Again, these are super duper dramatic and not that comfortable, honestly. In my opinion, I did not like them that much. They were expensive, like $17, um, which actually I guess that's not that expensive for lashes, but not super comfortable. And these are random ones from MAC. <laughs> I don't know which ones these are because MAC didn't put the freaking name on them. So I don't know, but these are ones I got from MAC as well when I got makeup done. So that is everything in this drawer with bronzers and lashes and stuff like that so let's move on again all right guys so we have finally made it to the last drawer which is pretty much all my eyeshadow primers loose um eyeshadows and then overflow of eyeshadow palettes which i will not get to this i will show that to you the other the some other day when i actually show you the um palettes and open them up but over here we have all my mac paint pots and any kind of like um, cream eyeshadows. I have Soft Ochre. What is this one? Groundwork, which is brown. I have Painterly. I have Frozen Violet. I have Camel Coat. Soft Ochre was there. Base Study, which is like a, um, has a sheen to it. What was this one? Painterly. Okay. And then I have this, oh, come on, Armani Eyes to Kill, um, shade. This is like a cream eyeshadow, and I have it in the shade number 8. Let me see if I can open it up for you because it's super cool. This is what it looks like if it will focus. I will show you down here. Look how pretty it is. It's such a cool product. And it actually has like a little stamper that goes on top to keep it all foiled and pressed down. But I really, really like this. And they have tons of really, you know, unique and cool shades. So that was that. And then I have the Makeup Forever Aqua Cream in this brown shade. A lot of times, like during busy season when I'm really lazy and just want a nice put together look, but it's like so easy, like less than a minute I will go in with like MAC um, groundwork as my primer and then go in with like this makeup forever aqua cream on top of it and just be done and it looks super cute and then I have one from Buxom which I'm almost out I've used the crap out of it and this is in the shade mutt I think yeah mutt so if it will focus it's like kind of like a bronzy brown shade there you go so then over here I have some primers. I've got, um, they're not necessarily primers, but I use them as primers. The Color Tattoos from Maybelline. I have a bronze shade, I have a cream shade, I have a darker brown, and then I have a silver. And then I have some Too Faced products. I have the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I have the Too Faced Glitter Glue. I have the Too Faced, what is this, the Poreless Pure one, and I'm pretty sure I have the Champagne one somewhere as well. Um, there's another sample of that. I have the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer, and then I got this in an Ipsy bag, I believe. This is the Thank Me Later Eyeshadow Primer. So there are those. 
So now as far as my loose eyeshadows, which I actually don't have a ton, like I mean loose in that I guess they're still in a pot versus like being depotted or individual pans. Though any of that are individual pans or in Z palettes, which I will show you later on. But I actually got this as a birthday gift from Urban Decay when I made an order online. This is in the shade Tonic, which is a purple shade. This is from that Aquatic line again. This is in the shade, let's see, Lorelei. Hey, you get more girls. Um, cult favorite. This is Satin Taupe by MAC. Um, what is this one? Naked Lunch. Another cult favorite from MAC. And this last one, yep, Shroom. Another cult favorite. And then this little guy is a sample from Makeup Geek of a loose um, glitter. This is New Year's Eve. It's super pretty. It's like a champagne color. Just really cool. So I think this was on sale for like a dollar or something. I picked that up. This is um, Arden CN in the shade, what is this shade? Heaven. And it comes off kind of like golden and green. And this is like such a buttery formula. It's ridiculous. I have this little NYX Ultra Pearl glitter that I've used in a tutorial as well. Let me show you. It's kind of like pinky. Um, I have two loose pigments from MAC that I love so much. The first one is in shade tan, which is this one, which is pretty rose gold. Like, so gorgeous when you wet it with MAC Fix Plus or any other setting powder. Beautiful. And then this one is naked, which is also really, really pretty. So, these, seriously, you guys, will last you a long time. And now they actually have at MAC some that come in these sizes, so they're cheaper. And, like, this will even take you, whoops, a lifetime to use. So, these... You definitely don't need a huge size of them, and if they have the color you want in the little one, get it, because this will last you forever. I've had it for years, and it doesn't even look like I put a dent in it. So let's see what else I've got. I've got some other pressed pigments from MAC. This is Day Gleam, super pretty. These you use with, like, a glitter glue. And then I have a, like, purpley one. This one is Moth. So pretty. It's, like, a purpley silver color. I love this one. And let me show you the other one. There it is. It's like a goldish kind of green color. Super cool. Then I have Stila Kitten Cult Favorite. I have NARS and Mississippi Mermaid, which is like a, um, a gold champagne color. I can't open those. And then these are from Kiko Cosmetics that I need to get like a little palette to put them in. Um, I showed you guys that highlighter from Kiko, but I really like their um, eyeshadows as well. It's like a cool brand. So I have a bunch of colors. So let me show you them out here so that you can see their true colors. This shade right here is 212. This shade is 257. This shade is 255. We have 234. This one is 215. And then the last one that I have is in 219. And I want to say they're relatively like comparable to like um, Mac or Makeup Geek prices, maybe like three to six dollars or more fee prices, I guess. But these are the colors, really pretty. And then, oh my god, I have to go through all that. These are the ColourPop eyeshadows that I have, which this is a really cool, like, acrylic that they're meant for, like, eyeshadows. ColourPop's a little too big for them, so I have them a little stuffed in there, but that's okay. This shade is Kindness, which is a really cool, like, um, duochrome color that was created by Coffee Break with Danny. Um, this one broke, but this is, I heart this, but that's okay that they're easily, you know, packed right back in there. Um, this one, let's see, is Bravery, which I believe came in her little quad for Coffee Break with Danny, so those go together. Um, this one is So Quiche, which is a really cool, like, iridescent purple shade. This one is Wisp, really pretty classic gold champagne color. This one is Hope. I think this was, again, like a white kind of iridescent color that it's like duochrome with the light. That was in her little quad. And let's keep going. Blaze. This might have been the last one. No, I don't think so. Blaze is like a golden bronze color. And then this one was Lala, which is kind of like a coppery color. Then we've got Strength. This was the last one in hers. It was like a matte brown color. So that was all the Coffee Break with Danny little colors that came in her quad. And then we've got Plunge, which is another one that I use probably the most. Just a champagne color. Yeah, you can see I've dipped my finger in there. Ooh, I've actually hit pan. Get out of town. I hit pan. 
I need to like do a project pan on that one. Um, let's see, I've only got a couple more. This one is Fringe, another one I've used quite a bit. This one's just like a little bit more yellow undertone compared to um, this shade, how this one's pink, this one's more gold. Then we've got Cornelius, such a funny color. It's a really nice brown color. And then we have Glow, really creamy color. I might have actually gotten like, that reminds me, I feel like Cornelius and Glow was like in another quad I had gotten from another collaboration. I can't remember what it was though. Um, Cricket, which is a really pretty purple color. I love purple, so love this color. And then the last color pop one I have is, oh, that was it. I bought the Kathleen Lights one, her original one. So that was what these were in. I believe it was this one because it's called, obviously, Kathleen Lights. I believe that one came with it and this one and I don't remember the other one. But I have the Kathleen Lights quad and then I have the Coffee Break with Danny. So that is everything, you guys. I think we made it through everything in my collection as far as um, what's in the actual drawers. And then I will have a separate video on what's on top as far as my lip products. Then we will go into palettes, brushes, and skincare. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and getting to see what makeup I have in my um, chest. And if you guys did, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you can stay tuned to all my upcoming videos. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye!